Hi everyone, Julian here. Welcome to the weekly guitar meeting at Zika's Guitars. I hope you are doing well. Once again, I'm very happy to present to you some absolutely gorgeous guitars. This week we have a Romanios uh, Daniel Friedrich guitar and a beautiful Tobias Braun guitar, which is also a homage or a copy of a Romanios guitar and two other very fantastic sounding guitars. So stick around with me until the end of the video and let's start. The first guitar is made by Jose Luis Romanios, probably one of the top five names in the guitar making history. And a lot of guitarists love the guitar of Jose Luis Romanios because of their very intimate and elastic sound. This guitar is Jose Luis Romanius from 2005 and this is the ex guitar of Peter Stromgren, the organizer of two very well-known and important guitar festivals in Copenhagen and in Anhaus. And unfortunately Peter Stromgren passed away recently but we are very fortunate to have this guitar in our shop and to represent this guitar to you. As I already said, this is uh, Jose Luis Romanius from 2005 and the name of this guitar is La Esquina and this has the number 819. The interesting thing is that all the communication and the letters between Peter Stromgren and Jose Luis Romanius are involved in the case of this guitar. It's very interesting to have that conversations and uh, the conversations during the building process of a guitar between the guitar luthier and the guitarist. And this guitar has a spruce top and Indian rosewood back and sides. And of course it has a seven fan bracing. Let's see how it sounds. There is something in the guitars of Jose Luis Romanios that you just can't describe how it feels and how it sounds. And that's why also a lot of people think that it has a very intimate sound. It, it's your sound and you can put your own personality in the sound of the guitar and how you want to shape the sound of the guitar. And uh, you have, of course, a very well-balanced sustain. And it has a very forward-going sound also. It's a very heavy tone, which goes very forward. You have to play it by yourself to understand what I exactly mean.
This guitar invites you to try so many different things and uh, it's also very sensitive and that's why it's so elastic and that's why you have really the possibility to put your own sound and personality in this guitar. And uh, yeah, wow, this is... Yeah, no words for it. So, uh, Jose Luis Romanios from 2005. And let's move to the next guitar. The next guitar is made by the Australian, Aust not Australian, Austrian guitar luthier Tobias Braun. And uh, Tobias Braun builds different guitar models. All of them uh, are very exceptional and really well built guitars. And this one is a Jose Luis Romanios guitar model. I wouldn't say that it's a copy, it's a homage to Jose Luis Romanios. It's more a dedication, but it looks also very similar. Uh, the rosette is very similar and also the uh, Indian rosewood back and sides is very similar to the Jose Luis Romanios guitar from 2005. And um, yeah, this guitar is brand new from 2023 and uh, we have a beautiful spruce top and Indian rosewood back and sides I have shown it to you already and um, I would say let's see how the guitar sounds Wow, very similar character to the original Jose Luis Romanios, but for me it sounds a bit more louder and more open. And uh, but also the sustain and the character of the tone is for me personally very similar. All the beautiful colors that you can create. What a fantastic guitar, wow. Um, this is, of course, it sounds very traditional. You can hear it has a very bright tone, great tone separation, a, diff a white palette of colors, but the sound is going forward and it's loud, despite of the traditional sound.
Congrats to Tobias Braun. This is a fantastic guitar, very good sustain, very well balanced, like a Romanios guitar. And for me, it has, in addition to an original Romanios, which of course has a sli slightly different character, it's very open. It sounds very open and less intimate than a Jose Luis Romanios guitar. Yeah, fantastic work and let's move to the next guitar. And this special guitar is made by one of the, for a lot of people, the most important name, the most inspirational name, uh, Daniel Friedrich, the French guitar luthier, Daniel Friedrich. And uh, this guitar is from 1968. It's a recital model. There are arpege and concert models too. And this is a recital model. And um, as I said, it's from 1968 and it has a spruce top and Indian rosewood back and sides. I'm always in love with guitars made by Daniel Friedrich. So I won't talk a lot and I will just play. <laughs> This is one of the most elegant sounds I've ever heard. It's, uh, first of all, it's very loud, very forward going. At the same time, you have a traditional sound, not in terms of traditional like a Santos guitar. It's a, let's say post, post traditional sound or traditional modern sound. And uh, it's a joy to play on this guitar. how easy it is to play in every position of this guitar and to get the same 
sound in terms of loudness and balance. Uh, because with most of the guitars, this chord sounds beautiful. And as soon as you play some barre chords, it sounds very different. But in this case, it sounds so open and still as, as you would play a chord in an open string, even if you are playing in higher positions. I'm very curious what you say about the sound of this Daniel Friedrich guitar and uh, yeah, wow, I'm amazed today by all these guitars and let's move to the next one which is also a very special guitar. This guitar is made by the Spanish guitar luthier Marcello Barbero from Madrid. And uh, the interesting thing about Marcello Barbero to know is that he was a student of Santos Hernandez. And um, yeah, this guitar is from 1932. So it's a very old guitar. And of course, very traditional, traditional sound. And um, it has a spruce top and mahogany back and sides. It's a very light guitar and it reminds me also a little bit of Ramirez guitar and of course Santos Hernandez guitars. And um, yeah, I mean, let's see how it sounds. What a sweet tone. It has a very brilliant and sweet tone, very Spanish. And uh, what I also noticed is the response of this guitar is very fast. Somehow a little bit like a flamenco guitar. <laughs>
has a lovely vintage sound. It reminds me somehow on my childhood memories, let's say it like this. And uh, very interesting guitar. If you have the chance, come to Zika's and try it. And the last guitar of this week is made by Masaki Sakurai. And this guitar is also a special model. It's the 77th commemoration model. And it's from 2021, but it's a brand new guitar because these guitars, these models has been built in, have been built in the year 2021. So if you see a 2022 or three commemoration model, 77th commemoration model, it's a fake. And, um, this guitar has a spruce top and Madagascar rosewood back and sides. And this model is Maestro RF13. Because we had last week also a different model. It was PC Maestro 18, I think. And yeah, this is a different model. And you have, of course, some beautiful decorations on this guitar because, as I said, it's a kind of anniversary model. And let's see how the guitar sounds. And before we start, I just want to mention that it has also an elevated fingerboard. I mean, really elevated, elevated. It's like this, which makes the guitar much easier to play on the higher positions. First thing, powerful guitar with a great response and long sustain. And at the end, some notes in the higher positions. I would say it's a more modern guitar in terms of loudness and response with some touch of uh, traditional sound. It's very gentle and bright. And it was, I think, also the last guitar. No, we have still one very special guitar. Uh, it's a pre-recorded video. I recorded it two or three days ago. And let's have a look at this video and I will be back. This guitar is probably one of the most impressive guitars what I have seen in the last few years. 
This is made by Angelo Vailati. This is a Roma Expo guitar edition and um, brand new from 2023. And just look at this guitar. You have so many beautiful details and not only beautiful, but also very well designed and very well worked. And uh, this guitar has a spruce top and an unbelievable satin wood. Wow. Let's play a few notes on it. No words. So clean. The tone separation is so on point. And just listen to the quality of the tone. What a joy to play this guitar. Really, congrats to Angelo Vailati for such a great work. Yeah, so it was the last guitar of this week made by Angelo Vailati, a really great, fascinating guitar in every term. And um, I hope you enjoyed this week's weekly guitar meeting. Please leave a comment and don't forget to leave a like if you liked the video and it, if it was helpful for you to have a better understanding of the sound of these guitars. Have a nice weekend and hope to see you next week.